What's up guys, Polly Popo here and today I'm going to show you how to update the Akai Force. And from what I've heard and what I've seen, it's really, really exciting because on the NPC, on the, another Akai product, the NPC, um, especially the live, man, it gives you so much finger control. So not only do you have knobs, you have finger control too. I haven't updated it yet, so let's get right into it. Um, yeah, let's do it. All right, and uh, first, before we begin, I want to thank every one of you for watching and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot to me whenever I wake up and I see different comments and stuff. So feel free to ask questions, anything, really. I've uh, met some really, really cool people on here. I appreciate every one of you. Uh, step number one, go to a Kai site, go to your registered products, and uh, scroll down, and it's going to say a Kai Force firmware. Download it. Cool. Step number two. Plug this USB into your computer. Step number three. Turn on a Kai Force. And then step number four. Wait. Wait. I hope everybody's having a really good day. All right. You know, I actually uh, let me show you this first, and then I'll tell you what you want to do. Hit menu. This gear icon, and then hold shift. Update. Do exactly what I said. It doesn't matter what the screen says. Just do exactly that, and you'll be just fine here. Let me show you here. All right. So I'm going to update. Blah, blah, blah. Did it update or what? There we go. So it didn't do anything at first, and then it's in update mode. What's going on here? Okay. I have to go to the computer now or what? Okay, so the little file that you downloaded, step number five. Check it. Step number five. Whenever you download your let me show you. Come here. Get over here. This screen's gonna pop up right here, okay? And it's a uh, Kai Force update force. Preparing update. Okay. That's pretty much it. And five steps. Go to a Kai site. Register products and all that. Download your dilly from the force. It's down in the middle. Turn on the force. Hit menu. Gearbox. Shift, update, go to the file, open it, hit update. I'm at 60%. And what I was going to say earlier while this is updating was, uh, you know, really never know what, what kind of a day people are having, man. And uh, not that I'm having a bad day, but, you know, we all have our, our good days and bad days. And you guys have definitely been there for me on my, on my ups and downs. I appreciate every, every one of you. Um, but today I was, I was in such a hurry, man. I had so much stuff to do, and I want to get back to do this because it's something that I enjoy doing, man. I crave doing this. So um, I saw a guy walking around with, you know, gas can, man. It was totally out of my way. So I was just like, dude, I pulled out my window. I'm like, hey, bro, man. He's like sweating bullets, man. I'm just like, dude, that sound is just like crazy. Hit done. But yeah, I ended up giving him a ride and helping him out, man. And it really made his day. He was having a, the worst day ever. I told him, I ain't trying to get you back to work early or anything, but he did appreciate it. So I think that's really, really cool. So do something nice for somebody, you know, ran, random act of kindness. Really, really, uh, really cool. Uh, so... This looks different. Um, go ahead and it says updating. Blah, blah, blah. It starts up the same way. 
Um, I haven't really dug too much into anything, really. Um, wow, as export, you can do as export now. 24 did, that's cool. And then I know during the uh, sample, it's supposed to give you an option. Don't be afraid to scroll up and down on these either. You see what I'm saying? You're gonna end up doing this anyway, so I'm, I'm, I'm not even worried about you uh, showing you what this is. Velocity, that's cool. Sampling, note length, tail, plug-in, auto sample, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that looks legit. It's the same. Let's go to the mixer real quick. Somebody asking for help? My buddies? You go to the mixer. I really want to see what the step editor uh, looks like. Cool. That was my boy John Sight. Uh, you can check out his channel. He's one of the founders. He is the founder of MPC Gang, so that's pretty sweet. Um, anyway, let's go here, inserts in this just to kind of see what this looks like. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so you guys don't have to look at me. You can look at my screen here. All right. All right, let's go. Whatever, dude. This is ridiculous. Let me listen to my uh, homeboy. See, I will listen. You got to look at my face for a second here. Put this on manual, and I'll get it locked in, bro. All right, cool. And we're going to leave it like that so you can't really... Okay, cool. So audio, uh, man, you know what would be really cool with the audio? It, it looks different. It, it really does. It, it really looks neat. Um, I'm not sure where the screen control button is on here. I have, you know, if you don't use it, you'll lose it. So practice. Um, let's see what the step sequencer looks like. Let's go back to menu, uh, matrix. What does this step sequencer look like? Okay. Does it have like the edit thing and everything? See, I'm gonna have to go in here and look at it. I really just wanted to show you guys how to update and show you that uh, you're now running 3.03, .03, which is really, really cool. Record export. Those are definitely new features on here. I haven't tried the Wi-Fi or anything like that, um, but, I know, you gotta hit shift and do stuff, guys. Always hit shift. Let's see. Navigate, cool. Your clips, eight bars. Mixer. What are these settings here? Crossfader, okay. And that's it? What is this? They didn't change any of the pictures, really. Um, I know on the MPC it's really easy to get to that screen where you're, I'm not trying, you guys can go ahead and cut out, I'm just messing out now. Wow, mono steps, poly notes, 8x8, poly 8x8, drum, that's cool man. Um, let's see, notes mode. Harmonize, chords, progressions, tenets, guitar, bass, piano, chromatic. That's cool. Um, yeah, no, uh, update looks good. I'm just trying to see where some stuff is. So, other, other than that, guys, use that shift button. And, um, man, I really want to see this. You know what I'm saying? Like, on the screen. How do you see that? I'm gonna have to do some homework on this.
okay? Hit clip after you record something. Hit shift, does it do anything? Yeah. Half time, loop, loop, start, stop, time, correct. Pretty sweet. Let's see what this. Velocity. What about event? List, cool. Uh, let's see here. We're gonna do add new to the plugin. We're gonna adjust cutoff. How do we do that? There's gotta be a way to, let's see, knobs. Hmm. Mercy. But anyway, we, at least we found this. And I know if I hit step sequencer. I should be able to draw on this is what I'm saying. Not like that. You can change all this here too, but we're getting closer. Should I get it? No. Oh, this is really cool. You can really get down on this hype here. I don't know what happened. They took the... They took the picture out or something. You know, I'm really, you know, I just wanted to show the update. Bottom line, you know, that's all I wanted to show was the update. But, uh, yeah, there is different ways that you can do stuff on here and, and, and yada yada. Uh, I don't use this like that. The way that I use it, I send my audio tracks directly into here. And then I can see... Um, my intro, my chorus, or whatever, like my first, second, third verse, I can see everything on here. So that's why I use it. It's very organized and very fast for audio. Uh, MPC, you gotta use, um, you know, you gotta save it as a sample if you wanna. It, it's, it's just easier on the force for direct audio tracks is all I'm trying to say. And I love it. I absolutely love it. So I'm gonna get in here, man, and then I really need to see. Uh, this is unreal. But there's just so much stuff that I don't, I, I haven't. I haven't even scratched the surface on this yet. I haven't even scratched the surface on it yet, so. Anyway, I appreciate all you guys for watching, and um, yeah, just wanted to go ahead and show that's how you update it, those five steps, and I will haunt you guys later. Take it easy. I was going to say, guys, don't be afraid to ask questions or anything like that. Um, you know, we all need help once in a while, so if anything, just spit it out there, man. Uh, definitely, I'll let you guys here in a little bit. I'm going to get on here maybe make a, a few more tutorials on this because it does look really, really nice and I need to get my hands a little bit. Maybe I'll hook it up MIDI with the MPC and see if they jive. But right on, leave some comments in there and I'll hug you guys later. Thank you.